Hi, this is Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom, and I want to give you some tips on being able to have a successful daily practice, guitar practice. Okay? The first thing I want you to think about is I want you to avoid distractions. Okay? Don't check your email, don't worry about all of those sorts of things. Find a time that you can practice where you're willing to leave your phone out of your room or wherever it is that you practice at and you're going to shut down your email and all those sorts of things and you're simply going to focus on for however long you're going to be practicing the practice at hand okay so avoid the distractions and those distractions can be you know I've got kids even that sort of thing where they know when my door is shut I'm in here in, in my room and I'm practicing things and, and I need to be left alone for that amount of time now, needless to say, I'm not going to choose a time when my kids really need me for something, right? Um, and so I'm aware of that, and I'm, I'm, I'm rearranging my schedule relative to that, but I want you to think about that, okay? Another thing I want you to think about is having some creative space around you when you're practicing, okay? Do you have tab materials, or do you, do you have accessibility to a computer so you can listen to some songs or watch, you know, instructional videos or... Do you have your guitars nearby you? Um, does it feel good in there? Do you have maybe some encouraging posters on the wall or something like that where it just feels like a place where you'd want to go? You know, you don't walk in and you got to move, you know, the cat litter out of the way and whatever to try and practice. Does it feel good? Okay. Um, another thing I want you to think about is having some creative time when you sit down and practice. You've got, you know, your regimen of things that you need to work on every day and, and I think that's awesome. Um, but I also want you to think about, do you have some availability of time and materials to work on some creative things? Maybe something that you're trying to write, um, you know, maybe some new materials that you come across, different things like that to keep you excited about playing. Uh, which brings me to another point. You need to make sure that you keep everything that you're doing fun, okay? If, if you're not having fun with what you're working on, you're going to get frustrated and you're not going to want to do it. So that doesn't mean that everything that you do is going to make you laugh, right? Some things that we do as guitar players are frustrating, but when we can see results, those, those results excite us and they make us want to practice more. They encourage us to keep going. So, um, and I say this quite often, but I want you to think about when you're practicing to keep things fun, you know, play songs, even if it's songs that you've played a million times before, um, or play things that that make you feel good, um, whether they're exercises or or you know scales or licks or something like that. But just something that gets you going. Okay. Um, another thing that you can do that's really good is to stay excited about playing. And, and a couple things that you can do to do that is stay connected to guitar forums, you know, music forums, things that like out on Facebook or wherever it might be. Um, that keeps you excited about playing guitar. Uh, go to go to a, you know a, a a show. Go to a concert. Um, watch concerts on TV. You know, watch documentaries about players. Um, get together with other musicians and talk about music. Just anything that keeps you excited about the environment is really really important for you to do. Um, so just some different things to think about. Another thing I want you to do is I want you to think about the length of time that you're practicing. Okay. If it's really hard to get a, a longer practice time in, don't make yourself feel bad about it. Okay, don't do that. Instead, set up shorter amounts of time. If you've only got 10 minutes to practice, don't try and cram everything in 10 minutes. Just choose the couple of things that either, number one, you need the most work on, or number two, are the things that you're most excited about right now that really make you want to practice in the first place. And maybe you'll set up another 10 minutes later in the day or, or something like that. Um, but using your time wisely is really, really important in your practice. It's not always just how long you practice. It's how effective is the practice time that you're, you're having. And another thing that you can do to keep things kind of moving forward with your daily practice is keep your practice regimen fairly straightforward or fairly simple. Okay. Don't, um, you know, don't just throw 5 million things on a piece of paper and go, okay, I got to practice all this today because you're going to feel overwhelmed. Don't do that. Keep it, keep it fairly straightforward. Maybe you've got 15 things that you want to practice, but you only have time for three or four of them. That's fine. But already know when you attack those three or four things what you're going to do, the speed you're going to do them at, 
um, you know, those sorts of things. Have a process already ready to go so you're not, you don't sit down and all of a sudden for 15 minutes you're trying to set things up and you're trying to adjust your amp and find your papers because then by that time your, your practice is over and you really didn't accomplish anything. So those are just some great tips to be able to keep your daily practice fun, fresh, and encouraging so you're going to do it on a daily basis which is really important remember practice on the days that you eat right so uh stay positive practice hard and i'll talk to you soon hi there thank you so much for watching this video i certainly hope that it helped you a little bit um if you enjoyed the video please do me a huge favor and either like it subscribe to the channel share it or comment on it okay that's going to help us out enormously um, and then we can keep in contact with you when we have new material that comes out. And if you uh, enjoyed the video, we've got some other videos over here that you can watch that might be able to help you on your guitar journey as well. And if you look up on the top there, you're going to see there's a little eye up there. If you click on that, we are going to be giving you a free gift just to say thank you for watching the video. Um, and then if you'd like to follow us on social media, you can use the term at GuitarZoom and you can find us there. All right. So take care, keep practicing and have a great day.